Hello, party people. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, good morrow. <laughs> I uh, don't know what time it is where you are, uh, but I do know that I am excited to be here. So probably first things first, a little intro would be nice. Um, I am Judith or Juju and I own Good Juju Herbal, a natural skincare and body care company based here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I have super sensitive skin, lifelong eczema, contact allergies, a little thing called alpha gal. So I have super, super reactive sensitive skin. Um, and the DIY that I'm going to walk you through is one of my like all time favorites and I've been making it for years. It's so easy. It's great for sensitive skin. It's really good to gift. Um, it's impressive to gift. People are like, what? Um, and it saves you money because if you've ever bought a lip scrub before, Mm, you won't, you won't be up for this. Okay. That's what I'll say. Um, you don't need an apron, uh, but I am known to stain every piece of clothing that I own. So I will be wearing an apron for this. Um, I guess next up is materials, no materials. This is probably all things that you have at home in your cabinet. Okay. Um, starting with a tablespoon. Followed up by another spoon. <laughs> this, is, this is just a mix. Um, I like a little towel. I always um, spill things, which I'm sure you will see here on camera in uh, any minute now. Uh, you need a clean little bowl for mixing. Uh, some warmed honey. Probably about 10 seconds in the microwave. It just helps it mix a little bit better. Um, some jojoba oil. If you don't have jojoba oil and you're like really trying to make this in a pinch, coconut oil would work and be fine. Um, and then sugar, brown or white sugar, whatever you have. I prefer um, white sugar. So I'm gonna go warm this honey and then we will get to making, okay? Be right back with my warm honey. Um, so this is, this is the easiest part, okay? Um, and this is why I love this recipe because it's one to one to one, okay? That's right one tablespoon to one tablespoon to one tablespoon and that is really really great because it's easy to remember um also if you want to make it in a big batch to gift which i will get to um you can you can do one cup one cup one cup or two cups two cups two cups or that's like uh cut 10 minutes later and i'm just like 17 cups 17 cups 17 cups <laughs> um but really it's so easy it's so easy. Okay, we're gonna start with our sugar. Okay, just gonna scoop this little guy in here, put it in our bowl, okay? Go with the uh, the oil. This is where you might see me uh, spill, okay? Oh, honestly, wow, impressive. Um, and then your warmed honey, okay? So it pours a little bit easier and it also mixes easier when it is warmed about 10 seconds in the microwave. Um, and then you just, Mix, 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 okay? And while I kind of mix this up, I wanna tell you a few things. Number one is that um, honey is a great natural humectant. So it helps uh, kind of draw moisture and keep um, your lips hydrated or your skin hydrated. Um, jojoba oil, if you really wanna impress people and like, oh wow, you used jojoba oil. Jojoba oil mimics your skin's natural sebum, which is a um, necessary oil that your skin makes um, and helps with the function of your skin barrier. So that's why it's a really great sensitive skin oil. Um, it's non pore clogging, um, neither is um, honey. So it is just a really great uh, kind of universally loved ingredient. Um, and you are just gonna mix, mix, mix until you get about this consistency, okay? <laughs> the thing that I like about a DIY recipe is that you can customize it to how you like it. So for instance, I uh, do not like scrubs that resemble um, like soup, okay? So some people love a scrub that has a lot of oil in it, okay? I personally don't. This is where I would take my little tablespoon, okay? Now we just add a little bit more sugar because I like a more sugary scrub with a little more grit to it. So you can just sort of add as you like. And see, this is gonna make sort of like a 
it's a little thicker. You know what I mean? So I just mix, 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 and you make this big gloop, okay? Um, this is where you then would add about three drops of essential oil. Um, it's important to note that essential oil is really, really powerful. The skin on your lips is thin and fragile. Um, so three drops is probably where I would max out for the one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon recipe, okay? When it comes to storage, I, uh, a little mason jar is really great. You could put this whole batch in here, store it in your fridge and scrub your lips one to two times a week. Probably wouldn't do it more than that. Again, your lips are fragile. Um, and it would last for about four months um, in the, um, I would say in the microwave, in the, um, in the fridge. The other thing that I love to do is I love these little tiny containers. I don't know if you can see them. They are so cute and they make it feel kind of like really special. Like it's like, wow, look at my really cool lip scrub. Okay. And they're really easy to fill. You just, just pop that little guy in there. And this is, if you are using essential oil, this is like a kind of fun, fun part where you could add one drop of say lavender and then do another little container one drop of peppermint um, and that way it feels like you've got you know a lot of different variations of one lip scrub and like how how cute is that it's so cute and you can put little stickers on the top okay which now brings me to gifting or like a little diy kit option so i'm going to clear this off and then I'll be back with that. Okay. okay. We are back for the grand finale. Okay. And this is, I, I, this is my favorite part. So you can gift it as a little DIY, um, like kit that you could bring to like a girl's night or a family event or something really fun. And it'd be really, really cute. Um, and I'm going to put that together first. Okay. So I love to do this. You just take the three ingredients and you put them in little jars and then you can make a big batch with a bunch of people all at once which is really fun this little linen bag um, and if you go to the blog post there will be a little um, like printable graphic um, that I made with the recipe on it so you can put it in the bag so if you're gifting like I mean like a little kid sleepover and they all have little bags with a little DIY kit Oh my god. Oh, invite me. Invite me to that sleepover. <laughs> um, and I just think that that really is what sets things like this apart. So while I kind of wrap these little... Not like that. Not like that. Okay. Let's um, take two. Okay. <laughs> I don't even cut this. That's that's probably what I'll do. Just keep, keep all that in. Um, roll it up. So cute, okay. I act like I don't do this for a living. Like I literally roll products on the wall. Okay. So this is this is not good. This is this is bad for my professional career. Look, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It's already in cute jars. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going because this is really wow. Okay, but the end result, look, they're all wrapped in there. They're all wrapped in there in a little cute bag, okay? You put your little graphic card in there. You pull this tight. This is one of our, this is, this is one of our business packs. Um, and then you get a little tag. And you could put like each of their, I'm going to turn this around because it'd be a blank bag, okay? Each of it, someone's name right in here. I just love, I think that what takes a, especially if you're gifting something DIY, it's really like the intention and the thought put behind it with, if it's like actually a functional little DIY gift, that's what makes it like, wow, that was a great gift. That's a great idea. They are so thoughtful. You know what I mean? Okay. The other thing is if you're just gifting it ready-made, um, that's why I love these. Okay. And it's so cute to put stickers on the top. And then again, like I said, you could customize with like a peppermint, a plain, a lavender, a geranium, whatever you like. And then again, let's see if I can, let's see if I can in real time get this, 
get this a little bit better. These feel like they're more manageable. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I mean, we're off to a better start. Okay. Because that last one, that was, that was really tough, honestly. I'm going to watch this back and think. We should have clipped that, you know. <laughs> Okay, I mean, we're, we're definitely doing a better job here. I also think that a monochromatic little look is too cute. So pink on pink. I found these little bags at Target. <laughs> Again, with the pink tag. Or the yellow tag. You guys. I mean... That is cute as a stocking stuffer. With love from mom. I love that. Okay. Um, this is my tutorial for a DIY lip scrub that you can keep for yourself or gift to a friend. I don't know why I'm bringing this back in screen. This is really not that sightly, but I mean, it's a great scrub. And um, I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you remember this recipe for when you're in a pinch or you're staying in on a Friday night and you think, what can I do? Oh, watch a movie, make a little scrub, order pizza and hang out. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again. My name is <laughs> Judith <laughs> and um, I hope that, uh, we can become internet friends. You can follow the business at goodjujuherbal.com, uh, goodjujuherbal on Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's it. That.